Hi everyone, my name is Rory Yakubov and I'm here to tell you all about how much I love using Quizlet Live in my classroom. I can't wait to share all of the details with you on how easy it is to do, set up, and just what an engaging activity Quizlet Live is for you. So first of all, I'm going to introduce myself to you. My name is Rory Yakubov. I currently teach math. I've been teaching math for 15 years in New Jersey. And for the last four years, I've been using Quizlet in my classroom. We had a class set of laptops in my classroom about four years ago, and I figured I really need my students to use these laptops, but for math, you know, it could be a little difficult. And a lot of programs online are geared towards typing answers in, and it really lends itself more to um, some of the other subject areas. So I figured, what could I do for math? And I stumbled upon Quizlet, on Instagram or Facebook or somewhere online and I said you know what I'm gonna give that a shot and Quizlet itself has always been about matching up terms and definitions but I thought why not make them into math problems why not change my terms and definitions into math problems and solutions and so starting to build some of these math problems into these study sets and then assigning the study sets to my students started off as a really great way to practice and my students would use my study sets in class to practice. I would send the study sets to them as links to um, at home for homework or additional practice. And I just felt like it was always such a great way for my students to get instant feedback, monitor their progress, see how they're doing, and also use a website that most of my students had already been using. Many students are already so familiar with Quizlet. So using a Quizlet study set just really came as second nature. I encouraged all of my students to make their own Quizlet account, which a lot of them already did have them as freshmen in high school. And it just was a really good way for me to introduce practice. Throughout the year, I added in more study sets into my account. And you can see my account is on this screen here, Yakubov Math. And it was just such a wonderful opportunity for me to create and have my students use the study sets and practice. I also thought it was great because students could then from other teachers could find my study sets and also practice with them. Which then brings me to Quizlet Live. So practicing in class with the study sets is wonderful. I could tell my students to go to learn, do the test mode, flashcards, whatever they chose. If they wanted to play with the gravity game, it didn't really matter. But the moment we started introducing Quizlet Live into our classroom, the whole dynamic of our class just completely changed. My students would walk into the room every day saying, are we playing Quizlet live today? And if that is not the best way to show your teacher that you're so excited to learn and practice and have a great time, I don't know what is. My classroom would get so loud with Quizlet live because the students were so engaged, but we were always having the best time. And I knew my students were so engaged and into learning and wanting to get the answer right, but also working as a team. That's a huge benefit of Quizlet Live, is that students actually get grouped into teams and have to work together in order to figure out what the answer is. You see, you take a Quizlet study set and you put it as a live option. Students get a code, they enter the code on their device, they can use a laptop, they could even use their phones, it really doesn't matter. And in a group, all the students in that group, Quizlet assigns the group for you, get the same question, but only one student actually has the correct answer on their screen in the multiple choice options. So students really have to communicate with each other, let each other know, hey, I don't think I have the answer, but I believe the answer is 5x. Does anyone here have 5x? And then students can confirm what they think that answer might be, and then select it, and then the scores go on a leaderboard across the main screen in my classroom. Now. If I could tell you that the excitement in the class as the students are playing um, is just unmatched, it, it completely is. I so miss, right now I'm doing remote and hybrid learning, um, but I so miss walking around my classroom, watching the different groups, checking in on students, ask, answering questions as well, because what ends up happening is all the groups are getting different problems, but those problems will recycle through. So I might find one group who's struggling on a particular problem and then go visit another table of a, a group that has that problem maybe a couple minutes later 
and give them some hints or advice. If a student gets something wrong, the group score does go back to zero, which is a little tough to watch for sure, but students get energized and they power through and they make sure that they can answer all of the questions before whoever the first group is gets them all done, which ends the game. I absolutely love Quizlet Live. Now for remote learning, Quizlet Live um, is also still great because you have options to put the students in groups. Students can be put into breakout rooms on whatever online platform you're using for remote learning, and you can have the students work together that way and have your teacher screen shared with the Quizlet Live screen showing all the progress so students can check in and see how they're doing compared to the other groups. But the other option for Quizlet Live is to have them do individual mode. And individual mode is awesome because now every student gets their own problem with the set of problem, with the set of multiple choice questions rather, and every student has the answer on their screen. And that can be really beneficial, especially if you've been remote learning all year and you want you know, your student to work by themselves and they don't really know other kids yet, or you know that maybe working in a group is not the best environment for your particular class, and you just want everyone to do their own problems. You can do that in individual mode, which is fantastic. I've been using individual mode a lot this year. I'm really happy about it. And even when I go back into the classroom, I know that I'm gonna use individual mode as well because it increases the engagement individually and doesn't let someone in a group just simply rely on the other students to get the work done. So I absolutely love Quizlet Live. I've been using it for the past four years and now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to grab a study set and activate Quizlet Live in your classroom or remotely. So first off, this is my Quizlet page. My page is quizlet.com backslash math. I encourage any Algebra 1 teachers or Geometry teachers to come on over to my page and use any of my Quizlet study sets. I also always encourage students online if they ever need help with anything um, to go to my Quizlet page and use these study sets as well. But let's say you are working on expressions, equations, and functions. You can either select your own study set that you made or find someone else's study set and use Quizlet Live for it. So as long as you have a Quizlet account for a teacher. It can be the paid uh, teacher version, it can be the free teacher version. You get to use Quizlet no matter what. If your Quizlet account is a student account, you'll notice that the live option actually will not show up for you. So you have to make sure it's under a teacher account. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my chapter one test review and I'm gonna say, you know what? I could have sent this to my students as flashcards, as learn, as a practice test, but instead we're gonna go ahead and play live. So on my teacher end, I might have this screen shared um, if I'm working remotely and I would click on live. Clicking on live is then gonna ask you, do you want your group, your students to be in random teams or do you wanna let them play individually? So I'm gonna show you what both options look like and it's gonna look very similar, of course. So I'm gonna click on random teams and then you can also select how you want the students to be able to play where they get the question and all the multiple choice are the answers, or even where the question is actually the answer and all of the multiple choice options are what the question would be. I usually just play really generic question and all my multiple choice answers. So I'm gonna select the first option. And then you're gonna see there's a code that will pop up. Now I usually share my screen on this, or if I was in the classroom, this would be on my main screen in my classroom. My students would either, either log in on their laptops or they would log in on their phones or any device. There's even um, an icon here, a QR code that students can scan to open up the app and go directly to it. Also, if I'm online, I might want to copy the game link. If I click copy game link, I can drop it right into Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams and have everyone join in. Now, you do have an option up top here in the right hand corner about having music on or off and then the team's arrangement. So if I started it with teams and I change my mind and you say, you know what, I want it to be individual, I can click on individual. And so you do have these options here and it's pretty good. I do love the Quizlet Live music, I can't lie. And that's the waiting room uh, 
live music, but when you actually play the game, it gets into a really great beat, which I am completely obsessed with. And then the game goes, your students practice, have an amazing time, and it's completely worth it. So I'm gonna go back and show you what it would look like if I was to select live and go into individuals. And you'll see it's set up the exact same way. Students will enter in this code. Um, for groups, you need a minimum of four players. For individuals, you actually only need a minimum of two players before you can actually do, run the game. And once the game is complete, you can always restart the game. And when you restart the game, what's really great is Quizlet Live takes a random 12 problems out of your study set for the game. But when you run the game again, Quizlet Live is going to randomly select another 12 options. So you might pull up a study set that's got 100 something terms in it and just keep replaying the game. And every time you play a game, the questions are brand new and all shuffled through and your class definitely gets a lot of great practice. So if you are a teacher and you're interested in getting your students engaged and practicing their facts or their terms and definitions in the best way possible, then Quizlet Live is definitely for you. You've got to check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye.